So after using a Fujifilm X100 6 for like two weeks now, there are some things that I changed in the settings to make my shooting style more comfortable. I'm Nicholas Clayton Lee, let's talk about it. So for me, the first setting I actually changed was the function buttons. And the very first button I changed was this one right here. So if you know that this button, I've actually never used it before because it was never on any other Fuji. But if you hold it, it changed the EVF to a hybrid or just to the optical viewfinder by itself. But instead of having that, because I just tend to shoot with an EVF or with the LCD at the back, I actually put it on hold and then the ND filter goes on because especially in the morning when I shoot, it tends to be pretty bright, but there are parts where it's kind of dark. So I tend to use that on and off all the time since I have it in here. If I actually have an actual camera where I actually have to attach the ND filter, I just leave the ND filter on there, obviously. But that's actually the first thing I actually changed on this. So one of the other main things that I changed that I noticed has actually helped me a lot using this camera is changing this dial right here. On normal cameras, it's used for focusing or to zoom in. I changed it to the digital teleconverter because there are times where I actually decide to zoom in a bit. And to me, shooting a 20 megapixel image, it's completely fine because it's not gonna affect that much, especially when it's just digital. So I decided to change this and to change this, you actually have to press this button. And this is actually the normal setting for it. Uh, I just changed it to digital teleconverter. And if I do want to use it on manual focus, I just turn it off, change this to manual, and then I am back to using the manual focus right there. So it really depends on what I'm shooting and what my shooting style is but that's what I tend to do. I think it's actually helped a lot with my style of shooting and it's nice kind of having like a zoom and a set zoom too, that's a good thing. Another thing I have done with my setting is that I left it on auto ISO. Because of my style of photography, I love shooting panning shots and I have to do that really quickly and I notice I can't really do that really quickly with this camera because I have to change like this and I have to pull and then I have to push and it's, actually a lot harder than it looks on this camera and it's a lot slower and I tend to miss it and having to turn left and right I tend to I personally tend to forget which way I have to turn left or which way I have to turn right because to go ISO you actually have to pull to go lower you have to go left whereas it's, it's very counterintuitive a bit so I decided just to leave it on auto and I have set my highest ISO and because of that I'm able to change a lot faster if I see like a bicyclist coming by I just turn this to 30 and then I'm able to shoot really quickly and then able to turn it back just regular sh street photography shoot it's a lot faster especially when I'm wearing a glove it's a lot harder to change the dials so that is something I realize I've done a lot now so you go here on the auto ISO, you can still set it afterwards. Um, but this is like pretty much my setting that I use auto two and then my minimum and my maximum. So it doesn't keep it from overexposing. So something else I realized I've done a lot nowadays is use the autofocus lock so that the focusing won't go somewhere else. And I've changed this to autofocus lock instead of auto exposure lock. And I think that's also helped me a lot with my photography. Uh, I'm able to get the shots I want more clear. As for this button right here, I've actually changed it to the face detection. But I only use face detection nowadays, not eye detection, because I think it will make the camera have to work more and it will be slower. So I've changed it to that. Other things I've changed in the menu is I tend to like to shoot raw, but I, it's nice to have fine copy as well. So I have to use fine and raw. I don't use uncompressed because the photo will be so big. Unless maybe I'm shooting for somebody really professional, then I'll use uncompressed. Other than that, I'll use lossless compressed because when I'm seeing the footage in my computer, I'm still able to see what I'm shooting. Obviously, I use JPEG. I don't use HEIF don't think really a lot of people use that right now. I keep my film simulation at Reala Ace because I find that being the closest to like real life other than Eterna. Eterna is more cinematic. 
but I find Reality Ace is a nice photo to have if I, in case I do not want to edit. I think Reality Ace is what I'd like. Skin smoothening, I tend to use on weak. I don't want to go on off. Just, just a bit of skin smoothening. My white balance, I always keep it at 5600. Unless I want to try something new, then I'll play around with it. Dynamic range, always on 400 at most. Um, my color, I leave it the same. Sharpness, I tend to turn down a bit because nowadays images are so sharp that I don't think I need anything more than that, what it's giving me. Um, I'm always on single point focus. Subject detection, I find that I don't really use that often. On my other camera, I have it on and off, but on this, I tend to just leave it because I don't think there's enough buttons here. <laughs> my IBIS is actually always on because in case I do want to shoot long exposure photos handheld, so I like to leave that on. I don't have the image stabilization boost on. I only do shoot at 4K 30 frames per second. I don't find the need to shoot at 6k because nowadays you don't it's still not good enough for 6k like a lot of computers and you're looking at it on your phone or ipad at most videos it's 4k is already good enough especially nowadays it's vertical so it's even smaller so you don't need 6k and last but not least i tend to like to shoot a cl low speed burst at five frames per second because i don't want to go too fast i don't want to kind of spray and pray but it's nice having some images to have in case you do find something in between so i tend to use five frames per second honestly there are times i just take one photo actually a lot of times i just take one because it's already good enough i already know um but it's just nice to have sometimes and sometimes if i am doing a panning shot five frames might not be enough so i have to change to 11 frames I don't really go at anything above that because having to change to electrical shutter is a lot more work and I have to go through a menu a lot and mo majority of the time I'm going to just miss my shot. So I tend to just use 11 frames per second and it's already good enough. But yeah, I'm still trying to get a handle on this camera even though I've already used it quite a bit. And I think that I'm still not fast enough on this camera. I know it's meant to slow you down, but there are times where I want to pick up the pace because I know if I'm able to speed up, I'm obviously able to slow down. So I'm still trying to get a hang of it. A lot of the times I still press the play button instead of the menu button because yeah, I find this kind of weird. I don't know why. Um, but other than that, those are all my changes to my settings. Hope you guys try it out and let me know what you guys think. If it's faster for you, if it's better or worse, let me know. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks, and I'll see you guys next time.